put the foot down and we keep going. There are so many great fabrics out there that it's actually hard to make a decision. When I went to the store today to try to pick out what fabrics I was going to use, I really had to restrain myself from, uh, from going crazy in there. There's all kinds of beautiful colors and patterns, and every year they just come out with more and more stuff. It's a lot of fun to sew, and it's a lot of fun to stay within the theme of a, of a holiday or special occasion. There's a lot you can do. As I said, zigzag stitches are very, very hard to undo. A lot of times you have to end up just sort of cutting the edges and starting all over again. So I don't want to, I don't want to push it. I don't want to go too far and make it too tight. Okay. So basically, you know, you're, you're going to have some rough edges, but the great thing about the zigzag stitch is that you're just going to take your scissors and you're going to clean up your edges. And I'm going to do that now and turn off my machine. Move that over. I'm going to trim all around now. And the great part about the zigzag stitch is that you can go all the way to the very edge and your fabric is held nice and secure and so you get a very clean line. And that's one of the reasons that I actually like using cotton for my lining and for my, my facings um, because it holds together really well as well without unraveling. So just go ahead because you're not going to want any bulk when we turn it right side out. You're not going to want any bulk on, around the edges. So you just go all the way around like that. Clean up all your edges. Be sure that you don't cut the stitches though. Don't go so close to the edge you cut the stitches. Okay, and then we're gonna take out our pins. Put them on a little magnet cushion. And then we're ready to turn it right side out. You're gonna wanna get into the corners. You can actually maybe even gather it up like that and get into the corners and just basically push out all of the corners because we're going to press them out and you're going to want it to all look nice and even. And so that's two corners. Over here that's the third corner. Okay. And then you're going to lay it flat like that. And we're going to iron it and we're going to slip stitch it closed.